So hi. Hi everybody. Happy National Day. <laughs> Happy National Day to every Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we actually had the big chance to come here. Can you tell us about the place? I actually don't know much. I uh, just know it's the Palais de Justice in French, uh, courthouse palace. Uh, I think built during Leopold II. And it's a huge, huge building that's quite incredible. And uh, big, due to the construction of this, they had to actually destroy the, some of the Mahol here in, actually in Brussels in order to build this incredible place. And they say that actually underground, um, there's tunnels that nobody knows how to go into because it's just so big. There's no map on where to, to go, so it's quite incredible, yeah. <laughs> I actually heard about, like, they have this big street in Brussels where, uh, like, in, in ancient time, a couple of hundred years ago, mm -hmm. the people used to go. So they were trying to put all, um, like, court of law and everything in one street okay. so the people could uh, sell all the like they're good uh, solve or? all the cases mm, within oh, one okay. day okay very, so very nice. they have lots of lots of stuff here okay. and actually it's closed so today it's just be it happened to be open yeah actually. i guess yeah. they did a special thing for national day so everybody can come around and enjoy it yeah and um about the national day so uh the last year were you on the national day too uh, I don't think I actually was here in Belgium when it happened. I was living in Belgium, but uh, I don't think I was here. It's my first time entering it uh, this year. And uh, you actually introduced yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, well, I'm Lara. I'm living here in Belgium for now two years, uh, traveling a lot, and so finally settled down for my first job uh, after my studies in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And you had your studies where? I studied in Lausanne at the Polytechnical School uh, over there and uh, started working here in a consulting firm. And uh, and you studied something? Um, I studied chemistry. chemistry. Yeah, chemistry and biotechnology. I was thinking something chemistry, close by. Chemistry, yeah, yeah, chemistry. Yeah, I love it. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Best. Okay, and uh, so probably we will walk a bit here and we will I watch hope so. <laughs> yeah, what's here because this one is actually, so you can see there are the tables. Sorry, I will show you some. Like this, and they have the tables like you see everywhere around the uh, around the walls, and in the corners they have the tables, and probably they discuss some kind of cases here with like lawyer and client maybe or so, yeah. so, so much history that uh, can you help us to understand? You actually did PhD? No, no, but you did the study in the United States. I went there for a, ma a master project actually in the United States. Oh, okay. So if you want, I can start from the beginning. So I did French school my entire life. Uh, so I had the baccalauréat, which is the final exam when you're sort of 18 approximately. Like they have like like bachelor and master. No, no, no. This is even before. It's you okay. know when you finish your school, you know okay. your high school exam. And from there, I went to Switzerland at the Polytechnical School, which is sort of your equivalent to a university, but it's uh, for engineers. The goal yeah. is that you come out of it as an engineer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so after uh, so this high school exam, which is the baccalaureat, I went to the Polytechnical School. Mm -hmm. And so this Polytechnical School, school has a lot of different uh, opportunities for you in mostly sciences. Uh, from as I meant, chemistry, physics, mathematics, but also biology, uh, materials, um, photonics, electronics, something. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, the, uh, also environmental science. So quite a lot of different things, and so I decided to go into chemistry. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking uh, that you in the in the fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, so I did chemistry. I had a three-year bachelor's in chemistry. Um, and then from there I went into a master's. So from the, our chemistry background, you could either go into fully chemicals, uh, very lab work, so the chemist, or you could be a chemical engineer. And a chemical engineer is somebody that's going to walk, work, sorry, um, in, in IT something. No, no, no. Modeling. It's uh, actually in the in a company, but more on large scale things. Whereas a chemist is, you know, in his lab doing the tiny bit of stuff. A chemical engineer is the one that wants to scale it up. So in your big big companies, uh, really big batches. 
So I decided to go on the route of chemistry, the small scale. And so I decided to go, so I did my master's, uh, still at the EPFL. So that was a one year and a half program. And so during that one year and a half, I did go to the US. So I was in Berkeley. It's kind of Erasmus or it's other Um No, it's a bit different because Erasmus, you actually having classes and that's yep. during your third year of bachelor's. Yep. Um, whereas here it was just the master project, you work in the lab for six months with the same professor. You have one project that you have to so fill nice. in. I so love it. Sort of I love it because, you know, guys, like if you have like five subjects, you just don't understand. You're like putting the trash in your head, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you're working with one project, you're starting it from you don't know what to do, then the middle one, and then you got very skilled with it. And, and you, you build it up. All your, yeah, you devote all your time. Yeah, yeah. So, and it, so it's sort of a mini PhD if you want. A PhD, it's the same it's for research. four years. It's a research. Exactly, and this is just only six months. Um, so for that, I went to the US, uh, to the University, University of California of Berkeley. And that's oh, Berkeley is very famous. Yeah, and Cal State as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's possible because I know it's very, it's quite a well-known uh, yeah. school. Like Stanford, uh, they, they really close by, okay. by, yeah. by level. Yeah, okay, I didn't, uh, I always, stuff always learning stuff. stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so did that and also so once I finished it, I was basically finished with my master's. But what I did was also, whilst I was at the EPFL, uh, I did a, what they call a minor. So a minor is 30 credits, so it's like one semester that you incorporate into your master's. And I did it in management, uh, technology and entrepreneurship. So sort of a business background, so mm -hmm. being able to have a bit more understanding of Corporate strategy, negotiation skills, innovation, um, competitiveness. Yeah, exactly. A lot of things that you know can be used in management, and a lot of skills that are necessary to get out of your lab lab work, and that you need when you're actually dealing with people and uh, dealing on a large scale. Mm -hmm. So I did that also a part of, and that's why instead of doing a year and a half of masters, I actually ended up doing two years. Uh, so I managed to incorporate that in. Uh, within my masters. But after my masters, uh, I decided to stop and not to go on to a PhD. <laughs> so it's really, I think for a lot of scientists, it's a big question of do you want to do a PhD or not? And there's a lot of pressure depending on the country where you live in, depending on your on degree, the topic. on the topic. If you lawyer, I was talking to you, remember guys, I was talking with you about like, there are some professions like medicinal profession, I think lawyer, architect, which has the different law in every country, the different rules in every country. So the lawyer for